A stubborn blaze continues to scorch Schofield Barracks. The uh, fire flared up overnight on Oahu's North Shore, meaning another busy day for firefighters and another smoky one for Wailua residents. KITV 4's Paul Drews has our continuing coverage. Thick smoke poured off the mountainside while bright flames lit up the night, attracting many on Oahu's North Shore. We noticed from kind of point we could see like the bright orange with a lot of smoke, and we're just curious of how bad it you know, became. The fire along the Wailua side of Schofield Barracks flared up overnight, according to an Army spokesperson. It threatened to burn even more than the 400 acres it had already scorched. I just saw how bad it was this morning. I couldn't help but stop. So. Eric is just one of the many nearby residents wondering when the fire will be extinguished for good. It started on Tuesday, but fire crews were unable to battle the fire line from the ground because of the steep terrain. Looking a little bit worse. I thought they might have a little more contained. I've been getting worried it was going to come over the hill and burn it all off. After the sun came up, thick haze hung in the air around the fire, while Wailua residents woke to the smell of smoke again. I'm always looking out the window, and then it's not. I, I just hope it, it goes away. Pretty bad. Um, my kids has asthma and stuff, and the smoke just been bothering them. And it's just been going on the machines and stuff. Wailua residents say they've also woken up to another very visible sign from this fire. Cars and homes are covered with ash from the fire. At Wailua High and Intermediate School, it is smoke that is the biggest concern. In fact, a couple of students have already been sent home because of health reasons this week. Now the school is cutting out any type of cardio workout on campus until the air clears. We basically suspended any type of high impact activities uh, for PE in our fitness areas. I mean, the air quality in Wailua in our area is great. Um, when we have a fire like this, it does really impact us, uh, especially in the morning when the winds are not strong. It really settles on our campus in the area. In Wailua, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.